Okay, this is uh, section 9.2, and this is number one, which is the probably the beast of all the problems of the section. And what you're asked to do is uh, construct the fourth order Taylor polynomial at x equals zero for the function. Now let's go kind of look ahead at what is the fourth uh, order Taylor polynomial. Well, that's just given, and you can look at Taylor's formula. And that's the general form, so it's not really too difficult once you look at that form. And that's over on page 487, so you look at 487. That's just going to be basically f of 0 and then x to the 0, which is just 1 over 0 factorial, which is 1. So it's just f of 0, and they kind of simplified it there. And then f prime of 0, x to the 1 over 1 factorial. f double prime at 0, x to the 2 over 2 factorial triple prime of 0, x to the 3 over 3 factorial, uh, fourth derivative at 0, x to the fourth over 4 factorial. You can see all these 4s match up, the 3s match up, the 2s match up, the 1s match up, and the 0s match up. So it's pretty easy for them to you know, recognize. And the x and the, z, the factorials, those are going to be the same. So the only difference is going to be these derivatives. So you have to take the first, the second, the third, and the fourth derivative. And that's the challenge. And once you do that, evaluate those derivatives at zero, and then you put those numbers in. All right, so that's basically what you have to do. And what we're going to do is we're going to get a polynomial, okay, that will match this function pretty close as we go out. Okay. So now you got all the busy work to do, and you can do this. The only thing is that, you know, you'll probably make some errors. You have to be really careful. If you try to skip steps, you're going to be up the creek, so you have to be careful. Okay, so my, my function was this, 1 plus x squared, the square root of that, and I chose to write it like this and keep using these uh, the power rule. That was just 1 half, 1 plus x squared to the minus 1 half. The 2x and the 2s cancel, and this is what I got. And I rewrote it as a a um, fraction and with a radical because I'm going to have to evaluate it so it would be easier to evaluate like this than with negative exponents. So when I'm going to put my zero in there, my f prime of zero, I want it like this. But in order to take the derivative of it, I'm going to baby, I'm going to probably use this. I'm going to use this form here, and use the product rule uh, rather than using the quotient rule. I didn't really want to get into the quotient rule, so I chose the product rule. You might choose the quotient rule. That's up to you. Although it gets pretty ugly pretty fast. Okay, so if I take a look at this, then these two's cancel. So this is my first term and x is my second term, so I use the product rule. Uh, okay, first time's the derivative of the second, and that, that was just x because those two's cancel. So that's just 1 plus the second, which is 1 times the derivative of this, 1 half. I'm sorry, these I should have canceled those out. So what I'm looking at over here is the same thing. This is what I'm going to be taking my derivative, so... I don't get fouled up. So it would be 1 plus x squared to the minus 1 half times x. So that's actually what I was doing my derivative. I think obviously I did these on a separate sheet and then transferred them over. Because like I said, the, the arithmetic is horrendous. So the first times the derivative of the second, which is 1, plus the second times the derivative of the first, which is this, which is 1 half, 1 plus uh, x squared to the negative 3 halves times the derivative of that, which is 2x. And then I kind of multiply this out. Then I use least powers. I use product rule and least powers to simplify it. So I factored out that 1 plus x squared to the negative 3 halves. And I had ended up with these terms, 1 plus x squared, and then minus x squared when I took that out. And then I could simplify that in here as being um, the x squared's cancel. So I just have 1 all over this. So that wasn't too bad, so that it ended up, ended up being this. So once I got there, then I, I can just use the power rule to take the derivative of this, although I'm going to use this as my second derivative to evaluate. So I use the power rule times this, minus 3 halves. And you can zoom in on this if it's uh, too small. So it's minus 3 halves, 1 plus x squared to the minus 5 halves times the derivative of that, which is 2x. And then I end up with a fraction again. They simplify, so I ended up with this negative 3x all over 1 plus x squared to the minus 5 halves.
Then I, I rewrote this to the power rule to take the derivative, although this is what I'm going to use to evaluate the third derivative. But I'll take the derivative to, for the fourth derivative by using the power rule. And that was the first times the derivative of the second. That's in here. Minus 5 halves times that to the negative 7 halves times the 2x plus the second, which is this, times the derivative of the first, which is negative 3. And then again, I'm going to use least powers. So I, I simplified this out. And this, the, uh, these two's canceled. Negative, negative is positive. 3 times 5 is 15. x times x is x squared. And this is the minus 7 halves. Minus, and this was a negative 3. Well, minus, that was a negative 3 there. Negative positive. And that, and then I used least powers. So I factored out the negative 7 halves. And I had this left over. So you're using some good least powers here. And then you end up with This, uh, that's 5x, and then you subtract, so that's 5x squared minus 1x squared is 4x squared minus 1, and then it ends up like that. So take a look at that. There's a lot of least powers. I try to write over here what I did. Product rule, least powers, just the power rule. I got off easy on that one, and then the product rule and least powers again. So those are your derivatives. This is f of 0, f prime, f double prime, triple prime, and 4. So I evaluate each of these at f of, at 0. So f of 0, if I just put a 0 in there, that's just 1 plus 0 squared, because I use these, these in the little red boxes is what I use to evaluate these. I got 1. The second one, if I put 0 in, I get 0 over 1, which is 0. And the second one, I put 0 in, so I get 1. You know, it looks like an awful lot of work just to get 1s and zeros, is isn't it? That's kind of sad. But anyway, sort of humorous. All right, and then if I put 0 in here, I get 0 over 1 is 0. And then finally, I put 0 in here, and I get negative 3 over 1, so that's negative 3. So those are the five numbers that I need to put in the Taylor's form. Okay? So you do all this work for 1, 0, 1, 0, negative 3. Okay. But I want to see all this work, because I had to do it. Okay. So, again, this was the form we talked about. And then, and the x's and the factors are real easy. Those just go right in there. So, f of 0 was 1. f prime of 0 was 0. 1, 0, and negative 3. And I can work these factorials out. I can simplify them. This is 1 factorial, 2 factorial, 3 factorial is 6, 4 factorial is 24. You'll get really good with these factorials because we use this a lot in the Taylor's formula. And so then we're, we're all, almost all done here. And there we go. Oops, I skipped a line. Sorry about that. So again, 1 factorial is 1, 0 factorial, 2 factorial. And these were the same. Those are your your. Five little numbers, 1, 0, 1, 0, negative 3. And these exponents follow that pattern real easy. And then these terms go out, so I just end up with 1 plus x squared minus x to the 4th over 8. 1 plus x squared over 2. Now, even though there's only three terms, it's still a fourth degree. It's a fourth order, fourth order. And I think the book might have had written like this for some reason. And there you go. So a lot of arithmetic, a lot of calculations. Nothing really difficult. Again, look at Taylor's formula. It's very, very easy to remember because it makes so much. It's just everything's together. Z zeros, ones, twos, threes, and fours. The only thing again is finding the derivatives. Okay, so I hope that helps.